Hello friends, today our topic is antenna field zones, right? So what do you mean by antenna field zones? That is nothing but the area surrounding the antenna where electromagnetic field is produced. Okay, we have an antenna system at the middle. Around the antenna we have uh, field components. That field component distribution range is called as uh, antenna field zones, right? Here I have shown two different diagrams with the two different antenna systems are there. In these cases, we have uh, first one is aperture antenna is placed over here. This is the aperture antenna whose diameter is D. And here we have uh, linear antenna whose length is L. So that is the major dimension we have taken. Right. In this field, so now the antenna radiates signal around 360 degree over here and here. Okay, around. Right. In this region, I have split into two major categories. One is up to this range is called as near field then after this range is called as far field so from this near field we have further classified into reactive near field up to this distance whose radius is r1 after this range from this region to the starting point of far field is called as radiating near field regions okay right so the combination of both the part is coming under near field then the radius starts at uh, our, that is R2, right? R2 is equal to here 2d squared by lambda. So this is the distance of R2 as 2, 2d squared by lambda, where d is the uh, larger di di diameter or larger dimension of any antenna we have taken, and lambda is the operating frequency whose wavelength. Whereas R1 is the shorter radius, that is 0.62 times root of d cube by lambda, right? So this is the R1 distance that is of your uh, reactive near field regions and this is the R2 length it is for uh, just it starting that the far field regions right so we are going to keep our measurement or testing equipments always beyond this distance R2 that I will tell why it is happening or what is the uh, necessity of this okay so in the case of uh, linear antenna whose length is L, so we have taken the formula R is equal to 2 L squared by lambda. Instead of D here, we have taken L. So if it is uh, based on the dimension of the antenna, suppose we are taking aperture antennas like uh, square antennas or circular shape of antenna, <coughs> we have to take the longer dimension. If a circular, we have to take the diameter. If a square, we have to take the, the longer dimension of the L that is called as L. Right. So here uh, we are classifying uh, majorly actually two parts the first part and the second part this is coming under near field regions right near field regions the third is the far field regions so I told that the far field region is the very important uh, region where all kind of measurements testing parts are done in these regions right I will tell what are the drawbacks of this near field regions what do you mean by reactive near field and radiating near field a reactive near field is nothing but it is a very closer field of uh, the antenna systems that is antenna which is very closer range right reactive it will uh, uh, it will act as a reactive component because it will the field component will couple with the nearby uh, conductors or nearby objects so it will also act as a inductive part right induction may occur because of that it is called as reactive near field components in the near field itself the other classification is radiating near field radiating means it is next to the near uh, field component that is a reactive near field component it's where the radiation just starts but it's not up to the level it's not up to completely radiating right so third one is the far field regions now we'll discuss one by one now this is the uh, antenna systems we have a reactive near field region uh, the antenna is located over here and this is the diameter D and this is very closer field suppose what is happening in this closer field see the blue color line is the field component that is the radiation pattern of the antenna now this is the radiation pattern of the antenna but this is not the actual radiation pattern actual radiation pattern will be different but we are getting this kind of radiation pattern but this is not the actual right why what is the reason behind this why it is happening like this right we will discuss now so this region is immediately surrounding the antenna so this is a very closer region to the antenna 
and for uh, almost the length will be is r is less than 0.62 times root of d cube by lambda right it is very closer length for short dipole radiator suppose if it is short dipole radiator whose r is very much less than lambda by 2 pi so what's happening behind this in this region why this kind of uh, field is produced in the near field the objects within this region will result coupling with the antenna so that is whatever the object present nearby this range within this range it will act as a coupler to the antenna systems because of the coupler what will happen it makes some distortion like due to detuning so it will not act as a proper resonator so whatever the objects present nearby the place within very closer range range these objects will couple with the antenna systems and this it does not tune a proper signal and because of this detuning it may affect these parameters the one is resonant frequency will affect radius resistance will be affected and radiation pattern will be affected right so these range or range is not suitable for antenna measurements right and we know that this is the distance of r1 this distance of r2 so this is about first part that is reactive near field now we will move on to the next one radiating near field regions in the radiating near field region see the radiation pattern how it occurs right so here i am going to keep my uh, measurement device over here that is just beyond this r1 distance r1 is this so this is r1 distance it will be closer up to this so here i am going to keep the measurement device or any other testing part but the shape here it is somewhat emerging but it's not actual shape that is called as radiating near field it just starts radiating but it's not up to the level the impedance will not be properly matched with the free space impedance if we keep the distance between your uh, destination to the source within this range still we are in within the limit of uh, r2 regions right so i told that we have to measure always beyond this limit of r2 distance so r2 is here so we keep any particle or any uh, measurement devices receivers whatever it within this distance we are getting the shape will be looking like this what is the property what is the property of this radiating near field regions the first point is the antenna pattern is taking shape but it's not truly formed right the shape starts it is predominates but it is not properly uh it is not exact shape of this actual uh, part the radiated wave front is still clearly curved so uh, front wave curve will be looking like this so this is the uh, curved structure of wave front curved structure of wave front is not suitable for uh, uh, antenna transmissions so we should not use this curved field for any measurement or uh, measurement or any testing purpose why because electric and magnetic field vectors are not orthogonal in this curved structure <coughs> right now we will move on to the far field component see this is the actual radiation pattern of far field regions so far field region measurement will uh, occur beyond r2 radius right see here i am going to keep my <coughs> sorry receiver over here so here the field is emerged and it uh, makes a proper radiations once we keep the distance between transmitter to receiver beyond this range of r2 is equal to 2d squared by lambda so the distance should be greater than 2d squared by lambda uh, in this case we are achieving some property that is the wave front becomes approximately plane right so this is a plane wave front uh, the field component in the previous case it was curved structure right spherical wave front so spherical wave front is not suitable for any measurement or any reception where em field or not uh, orthogonal but here we can achieve the plane wave front so it is per perfectly planar wave front and we can make almost matching the impedance with the free space right and electric and uh, magnetic field are perfect, perfectly orthogonal in this cases right and one more point the radiation pattern is completely formed and does very vary with the distance right so this is the complete formation of uh, radiation field components of the per per particular antenna systems clear right so now this is the comparisons
so this is the far field pattern and this is the radiative uh, near field pattern and this is the reactive near field pattern so always we are going to keep our measurement systems in far field regions so minimum distance requirement is r2 is equal to 2d squared by lambda so that is very important so with this we will wind up the today's session